Hey, what up, y'all? Back with another of the Waffle Racer Off-White. And this is Vivid Sky Electric Green and Black. The style code is CD8180400. Um, this is an 11 and a half. Men's size would be a 10. So you wear a size 10. Men's, you wear a size 11 and a half. Women's. Um, the UPC is... One nine three one four nine three three four zero two seven. And there's a fourteen at the end. Of course, on the inside of the box, always on the inside of the box, the off whites are stamped. So you don't have that stamp there. You might want to question your shoes. Uh, now, the stamp isn't always blue or green though. On this one, it was red. All right. So that's not consistent. Always just double check everything. The date though, the stamp 05, 17, 19, 55, 04, 05, 17. Now in relation to the blue, you got the two layers of paper on the inside, the off-white brand paper, and then a white tissue paper. I'm pulling this out and I'm gonna sit these on top. Actually, I won't sit them down just yet. I'll sit this one here, 05, 17, 19, Authenticating shoes obviously takes a lot more than just looking at the numbers. However, I'm going to come here and I'm going to say, I'm going to give you the production date, which is on the right shoe and on the, all these little tags. My goodness, man. This asymmetrical lacing system is preventing me from getting to the tag. All right, finally got it. Now I just got to see if I can see this joint. Is eleven sixteen? No way. Eleven sixteen eighteen to oh four thirty nineteen. A whole year for this shoe to. That is weird, man. Now that's weird. You don't typically see production dates go from that far out. Eleven sixteen eighteen to. 04 30 19 05 17 that's still within four weeks though for our stamp our qc stamp and our production date 04 30 19 on the interior these uh this insole is glued in but it's not glued in very well so if you pull it it'll tug it'll come straight out uh, you have that unfinished foam around the edge but that date is crazy man this blue version looks a little bit better. Obviously, you guys know blue is my color. So, blue and green, actually. Green is definitely my color. But I'm not a Seahawks fan. I barely look at football, so go figure. Anyway, I want you guys to get a good look at this one because it's the bubble wrap that's underneath over the top of it that just throws me off, man. And like I said, I'm not dissing the design. <clears throat> not for me to diss it because somebody else loves this. Right? The extra laces underneath. That knobby outsole. And the paint. You know, that's just small things, man, that are... The paint job is not very good on the uh, midsole. And I guess that's on purpose. I just don't know, man. And all I have is like negative stuff to say about this damn shoe. I should really stop doing the video. I gotta get a crew. Get a crew of people. Because I could hire somebody who's probably gonna be like, yo, son, these shoes, these are fat. Um, I would rock these with a pair of joggers, you know what I mean? And um, I put these on, and they will be, I, I could stun on everybody. That's just not my thing, man. Um, doesn't mean that you don't like them. Like I said, this is much better than this one. Much better. Now, I haven't even gotten to this one yet, but I'm pulling it out because yeah, this one ain't bad. This one ain't bad. This one ain't bad. I like this one the best. I mean, of the three. And there are more colors, man. There's like a ton of these running shoes that Virgil's been doing. 360. Shut up, Chris. 360. Turn that joint around, son. Turn it around. 
it's hard to see it when you have the bubble wrap. And that's it. I'm going to wrap it up with this shot, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.